అందరికి నమస్కారములు నమో నమ ఐ యామ్ కర్నల్ ఆకేళ్ళ అమరేంద్ర బాబు ద డైరెక్టర్ ద కోర్స్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటివ్ డైరెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కోర్స్ సో వీ విల్ స్టార్ట్ ద సెషన్ విత్ వందే మాతరం అండ్ దెన్ ప్రార్థన ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ వీల్ ఫాలో ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఆల్రెడీ గివింగ్ టు యూ let us first start with vande uh, mataram challa chitti babu garu vande mataram vande mataram sujalam sufala మలయజ శీతలా సమల మాతరం వందే మాతరం శుభ్రజ్యోష్ణపులకితయామిని పుల్లకుసుమిత్రుమదళశోభి సుహాసిని సుమధురభాషిణి సుఖదాం వరదాం మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం నమస్కారం వందే మాతరం నా లెట్ ఎస్ రిక్వెస్ట్ సౌగంధీజీ to chant prarthana please om shri guru bhyo namaha let us close our eyes and recite omkara three times let us meditate for a minute and then start the prarthana take a deep breath and as you let out your breath please recite om om గణానా గణపతి గుం హవామహే కవిం కవీనాముపమశ్రవస్తమం జ్యేష్ఠరాజం బ్రహ్మణాం బ్రహ్మణస్పత ఆన శృణ్వన్నూతి బిస్సీద సాతనం ఓం శ్రీ గణాధిపతే నమ ప్రణో దేవీ సరస్వతీ వాజే భర్వాజినీవతి ధీనామవిత్రయవతు ఓం శ్రీ సరస్వత్యై నమ గురురేవ గతి గురుమేవ భజే 
ಗುರುಣೈವಸಹಸ್ಮೋ ಗುರವೇ ನ ಗುರೋ ಪರಮ ಶಿಶುರಸ್ಮಿ ಗುರೋ ಮತಿರಸ್ತಿ ಗುರೌ ಮಮ ಪಾಹಿ ಗುರೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯ ದೇವ ನಿರ್ಮಲಸ್ಫಟಿಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರವಿದ್ಯಾನ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ಮುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತೌ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತಂಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮಾತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಪಿತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಅತಿಥಿ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಓ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿತ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಮಲಂಡಿ ಸೌಗಂಧಿ ಗಾರು ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ i welcome you all for this inaugural session and also to the start of the course today is a very auspicious day for all of us and we have started this course today and uh, uh, i'll uh, shortly uh, briefly introduce uh, our uh, organizers the main uh, um, uh, organizer or patron is uh, akalla hemakanta prabhakar rao garu you all know him very well so most of you are uh, in fact uh, uh, come uh, to this group uh, through him only and he is the president i uh, founder president of uh, vedas samskruti samiti and uh, he has been a top executive in the private sector uh, before uh, switching on to this uh, Uh, sanatana dharma course of action now uh, next we have is uh, uh, prabhu garu csr prabhu garu you all know him most of you have come uh, through uh, him only uh, he, he was the director general of uh, national informatics uh, center and i see and he is also the chairman of uh, Vishwa Yoga Vidya Bheet and one minute. Swamuniji has come. And he is the uh, course, uh, academic director of this course. And uh, his profile, if I start reading, it takes 15 to 20 minutes. Now we will uh, take another occasion for doing so. and in any case you most of you know him but for remaining people i will do it um, in the next lecture now uh, next is vishalakshi garu going forward uh, 
Uh, Vishal Akshigaru is okay. Uh, let me highlight her. Spotlight. Okay. Namaste, Vishal Akshigaru. Uh, she is the professor in Osmania University and she is a PhD in Upanishads and uh, she is the uh, vice president of our Veda Samskriti Samiti, Sanatana Dharma. She is the expert in, uh, uh, she is our expert and then authority on Sanatana Dharma. And also she is the associate director of uh, our course, uh, which is now going on. And uh, Prabhugaru along with uh, um, Shailakshigaru are the persons who have uh, designed this course and uh, the people behind this. Of course, the pattern is the main driving force for all of us. And uh, now going forward, we have uh, Challa Chittibabu Garu. Uh, he is the, just now we have been speaking to him. He is uh, the webinar. Uh, where, where, where is he? Is, I think. Okay. Yeah. Chala Chitibai Varu, he has just, you know, uh, chanted, recited Vande Mataram. He will be the uh, webinar controller and planner. And then we have another, uh, one more uh, very important organizer who will be dealing with you daily. She is Lalita Ji. Can you open up your video, Lalita Ji? Okay, so. Sarve Bhya Namaskaraha. Lalita. She has come. Yeah. Uh, Lalita Ji is uh, our main coordinator and executive uh, secretary of uh, Veda Samaskriti Samiti. You all know that this course is being uh, organized by Veda Samaskriti Samiti in association with Vishwa Yoga Vidya Peet. The Dr. Prabhugar is the chairman of uh, Vishwa Yoga Vidya Peet. You can, you can see him also on the screen now. So these are the six people who are the organizers of this, of this course. And you can get in touch with any of us for any of your queries, uh, anytime. Uh, put a message on the WhatsApp. So in my brief, I will uh, deal with this aspect a little more. But uh, now uh, Swaminiji has come. Uh, I will introduce the chief guest also. Hariyo, Namaste. 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 Swaminiji, Namaste. Namaste. Okay, welcome to our uh, uh, inaugural session. Thank you. Yeah. So, so Swamini ji is uh, our advisor of this course and a well wisher uh, right from the beginning. And uh, uh, now we will uh, proceed with uh, a welcome address by our pattern, uh, Sri Akhil Hamakanta Prabhakar Ravagaru. So I request him to take over. Hari Hyo. Nyananda Mayan Devam Nirmala Spadika Kurtim Adharam Sarvavijana Hayagrivu Pasmahe Hayagriva 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 Yovade Tasanisarate Vani Jamukanya Pravahavat Vagar Devi Vasam Prupta Vagatha Pratipataye Jagata Pitaro Vande Parvati Parameshwaro Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Parabrahma Tasma Isri Nirve Prave Namaha Hari I invite all the distinguished people and the interested people to enter into the Sana Dharma course. Ajya Bhadrabada Sobha Kutunama Samachara Bhadrabada Bahula Panchami Mahalaya Paksha Majje 
अत्यंत शुभ समय पितृदेवता पिहोन्न आशीर्वाद आवश्यक सर्वेभ्य तशीर्वाद आशीर्वादी वो प्राथि अच्छ कार्यक्रम आरंभ कुरम सर्वेभ्य स्वागत व्याहरा प्रथम अज अस्माक मुख्य अतिथि स्वामी सद्विद्यानंद महोदय बरडोली सूरत आगतवती तम नमस्कृत आह्वान कौमी नमस्कार तदनतर अस्मा अस्माक वेद विश्व विश्वविद्या योग विश्व विद्या विश्व योग विद्यापीठ चेरम अस्माक कॉर्स डैरेक्टर मूलपुरुषा तम तम भी आह्वान कौमी नमस्कार महोदय अस्माक वैस प्रेसिडेंट उपाध्यक्षा श्रीमती विशालक्ष्मी महोदय अभी आह्वान कौन स्वागत नमस्कार सर्वेभ्य नमस्कार नमस्कृत अस्माक अनुज वेद संस्थ उपाध्यक्ष चर्चा कार्यक्रम 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 एडमिस्ट्रेटिव डायरेक्टर सर्वेभ्य आह्वान कौन सर्वेभ्य सनाधर्म कॉर्स कृते आगतवत सर्वेभ्य आह्वान कौन नमस्कार Today is a very important. I take another two minutes, please. Please. Today the courses have been started by West Samsung Samiti with the initiation and force behind this with Dr. Prabhakaru of Vishayoga Vidyapeet. We have successfully completed three first level courses, first level batches, and fourth level batches starting today. And in addition, we also completed a second level batch. You all can. Opt for that after completing this course for second level batch, which is going to be conducted in future. And why this course is to be required? That is the first question we should have. And this question is, in my opinion, after thousand years of slavery, and invaders and colonists rule. making us papers and pushing back our knowledge to the zero both economically and knowledge wise and then left us in 1947 and what is it unfortunately last 70 years also we have been under different mania rather of western mania still will continuing with that Unfortunately, we have come out of that in 2014. I consider that is a real the time of independence for Sanatan Dharma and the damage that done last thousand years of massacre of so many people were killed at various places at various times. The crores were killed. and this is i consider this mahalaya paksha is the right time to consider start a course and praying the all those souls who sacrificed their lives for the sake of the country and dharma so it is right time to remember the pitru devatas vishwa devatas and all our pitru devatas 
who have sacrificed their lives for the sake of the country and dharma. And I hope we have registered about 116 people and all those people have take this opportunity, come and join our hands to bring back our glory of Sanatana Dharma in the country. We need intellectual Kshatriyas and intellectual Gurus. We lost them last thousand years because of the massacres. And we need to build up our knowledge bank. We need to build up our Chatram. We need to build up our Krutvam and bring back the Visu glory which we were having with 11 universities in the country bringing the people all over the world to knowledge here. Unfortunately, we are going to Western knowledge to learn Western knowledge in other countries. That is the most unfortunate part of ours. And we should come out of that. And we should have again, again have universities of our culture, of our this thing, which is the real welfare of the world, which is required for the humanity, which considers the Welfare of the humanity, always. Sarve jana sutra bhavantu. Satcham vada dharman chara sarve jana sutra bhavantu. These are the basic principles of our culture. And with this aims only, we push, push forward to start that, to bring back the culture under the, under the force of breaking India forces which we are facing the country now. It is the requirement of every sanatani to come back to and build up our knowledge in their minds and try to get the real power of our Sanatana Dharma and real interpretation of our Sanatana Dharma in real perspective and handle it properly, the breaking India forces in future. That is the main lacuna we are facing now in the country. In any media channel we face, we see the Sanatana Dharma is at the receiving end. So that should go out and we people should build up our knowledge and and bring back the full Veda knowledge into the picture. We were having 11, 31 sakhas of Veda sakhas, and unfortunately we are having only 13 sakhas now, and out of 13 sakhas also, we are having only 7 sakhas under Guru Shisha Parampara learning this thing. Where are 11, 31 sakhas? Where are 11 sakhas? So this is the most unfortunate part. 1% of the only Veda sakhas are being available now, not even 1%, less than 1% are available now. And with this knowledge also, we are pushing forward ahead than any other dharma in the country, in the world. So we should strive, we should know, we should come back to the full power with the blessings of the Pitru Devatas, with the blessings of Devatas, and with the blessings of our, all our ancestors who sacrificed their lives in freedom circle to us for, our, for the sake of our dharma, for the sake of our country. Praying to all those people, all those Atmas, to Santi. I start this course, what batch course. I request Swaminiji to give the Ashirvadams for this course. And I request all the people to come regularly and, and maintain full attendance and take the advantage of the faculty. We have got an excellent faculty coming from BHU, coming from various lines, various experiences, people. For 25 to 30 people are there. And in addition to the what what 30 to 40 patrons of various fields having various uh, uh, importances on, on their own field. So with this introduction, I request the organizers to go ahead and build up more and more courses like this, and 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 propagate and inculcate the Sanatan Dharma culture among our citizens. Our Bharatiyas, Vande Matra, Namaskar. Mute, mute, current mute. Uh, thank you, Mahade. Thank you for uh, your welcome address, and also you have set the tone of our uh, uh, meeting uh, and also the course. We will definitely follow your advice. And uh, going forward, now I'll request Swaminiji 
to give her uh, uh, blessings for the success of this course now. Swamini ji. Om Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Om Shanna Mitra Shambarunaha Shanna Bhavatva Dhyama Shanna Indra Bruhaspati Shanna Vishnu Rukramaha Namo Brahmane Namaste Vayo Tvameva Pratyaksham Brahmasi Vameva Pratyaksham Brahma Vadishyami Ritam Vadishyami Satyam Vadishyami Tanmam Avatu Tad Vaktaram Avatu Avatu Maam Avatu Vaktaram Om Shanti 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 Nidhaye Sarva Vidyanam Pishade Bhavarodhinam Gurave Sarva Lokanam Dakshinam Utaye Namaha Om Namah Pranavarthaya Shuddhat Naneka Mutaye Nirmalaya Prashantaya Dakshinamutaye Namaha Gurur Brahma Gurur Vishnu Gurur Devo Maheshwaraha Gurur Sakshat Param Brahma Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kama Rupini Vidyaram Bhantarishyame Siddhir Pavatume Sada Vakratanda Mahakaya Sudhya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurume Deva Sarvakadeshu Sarvada Namaste to all. As previous speakers were telling, this is very auspicious uh, uh, occasion for starting the course. Because until and unless we connect ourselves to Veda, to our Sanatan Dharma, to our history, true history, we cannot have a real proud for ourselves. Our parents, as it is mentioned, how many people, freedom fighters, how many saints, how many gurus, acharyas have preserved this one? We are here because of them only. And that knowledge has to be preserved. And knowledge cannot be preserved in the library. It has to go. That's why our Veda also is called Shruti. Shruti means you have to listen to it. Any knowledge comes through the ears only. From the childhood, we have learnt all these things. But unfortunately, whole of our education system itself is wrong. History is wrong. And therefore, I am very happy that this fourth course we are starting now. And so many students have applied for the entrance. I congratulate all of them and I bless them that have a more and more knowledge because this knowledge only can sustain our life. Sanatan Dharma, Dharma means what? It is not a religion, understand? Dharma, the translation for Dharma is not religion at all. Dharma means that which sustains the human life. Therefore, there is a very popular verse is there. Ahara nidra bhayamaituna naranam pashubis saman. This is common to all. All, hum all animals, all human beings, this is common. We need food to sustain. Food and water is required to sustain this body and mind. Nidra also is required. Sleep is required to refresh our mind, our body. <clears throat> Bhaiya, security, to have a money, to have a uh, house, to have a post, to have a, some kind of the uh, security in our life. Bhaiya, 
progeny. So, it is common to all. But what is the vishesh of human being? Ekaha dharma visheshaha dharmena hinaha pashubhissama. So for us, dharma is one which makes us human being. In Gujarati, we say that I, being human being, at least I should become human being. By following dharma, we become human. Ekaha dharma vishesh. Understand? And therefore, this sanatana dharma is something which makes you live your life properly. It leads your life. Dharati iti dharayati iti dharma. That which sustains your human life. And Bhagwan also, many times in Gita, you will learn all these things. That this dharma is required in a way. Earth and Kama. Now the whole world is behind earth and Kama. But our Purushartha is dharma, artha, kama, moksha. It start with dharma. That means... Whatever artha, whatever sampatti, whatever wealth, whatever name and fame you want, you can gain. But with the limitation of dharma. You can have as many enjoyments you want to have. But with the limitations of dharma. That's why in Gita also Bhagavan says, Kama, desire is me. But which kind of the kama? Dharma aviruddha kamosmi bharatarsha. Therefore, I am very happy that we are starting this fourth course and we are very happy, we are very fortunate that we have CSR Prabhuji who has organized, Vishalakshi Amma is here, Lalita Ji is here, Prabhakar Ji is here, all scholarly people. They have organized this Sanatan Dharma course. In, 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 uh, in uh, Sanskrit we can say Pathyakrama it is called, curriculum it is. No university is teaching this. No school is teaching. Not allowed. After this nine years of government also, we have not changed our history. That is the effect of our slavery. That is the effect. Understand? It's not the failure of the government, but that is how the constitution is. That is how the culture is. That is how the people are being enslaved intellectually. And then by learning this Sanatana Dharma, we can Free our intellect. Whole our way the Shastra is a Mimamsa analysis. Intellectual analysis has to be done. But whole way the Shastra, Dharma, everything has been come to the Shraddha. That's it. No. I always tell people that I came to this line not because of Shraddha or Bhakti or Japa and Tapa. It is logic. The logic which is given, the, the science is there. Logic is there. And we have to understand that logic. We have to understand that science. Then only we can have a proud to be Hindu, proud to be Sanatani, proud to be Bharatiya. We need to have that. See, you see all these Muslim people, they wear topi. We don't even put on tilakam. Why? Why? Schools also not allowing. Even the Mahendi, you know, not allowed in the school. Why? That's our culture. Why we are not having proud to have all these things? Tilakam is there, Bangal is there, all these are important. But on name of Macaulay's uh, education system, name of secularity, we have lost all these things. To going to the temple, daily temple going, the Pitru, the Shraddha Paksha is there. We have to have the prayer for the parents. Matru Devo Bhava, Pitru Devo Bhava. We need to have. Nowadays, children are not even having a respect for the parents, you know. They think they are all uneducated. They don't know how to operate mobile or operate computer. No, that's not the life. Life is a dharma and therefore, I'm very happy all my blessings are with all of you. And I pray to Lord to have more and more like these courses going on. After the first one, the second one, then third level also we are going. So, let us have more and more such courses going on and have even, I, I don't know how it is possible, but if we can develop the way where <clears throat> the first level also is going on, second level also, we how parallel we can go, then more and more students can have the opportunity to, uh, to know the Sanatana Dharma. So let us think about that and how we can have a parallel first course and the second level also, first level and second level. So more students can apply and more students can 
have a chance to learn about Sanatan Dharma. Om Tatsa. Thank you, Amul. Swaminiji, thank you so much uh, for your blessings and advice. We definitely uh, uh, try and endeavor to uh, start uh, parallel courses. Um, let us uh, organize ourselves and then uh, um, find the faculty and the students to gather. So definitely we will go ahead. And going further, I will uh, introduce you uh, to the to this course and its uh, little background of it and about uh, the participants who are uh, the students of this course. Uh, I will share this uh, with uh, I will share with the PPT. Yeah. All of you can see this. I yeah, it's, not, it's okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I want to give a small presentation. Uh, uh, the fourth batch of uh, basic level one certificate course in Sanatana Dharma. Now today is starting. It will be up to 29th December 2023. We have started this course. Uh, in uh, first course, we started last year, August, uh, with the blessings of uh, Shankara Charyaji. Uh, he visited uh, Hyderabad, and we all organizers, Rubu Garu, Prabhakar Rao Garu, Dishalakshi Garu, and uh, uh, all of us went to him and then showed our uh, prospectus to him and then took his blessings. You can see the uh, photograph. He has given his blessings and also gave a lot of advices. With his blessings, now you see three courses of basic level. One course of uh, advanced level has already been successfully completed and a uh, lot of people have got, uh, have, uh, got benefited by this. And our aim of uh, spreading Sanatana Dharma among its uh, followers has got a great success. Now, uh, and I have done a lot, a little bit of uh, analysis on uh, the people who have uh, applied for this course. Uh, registered around uh, 138 people have registered. Out of that, admitted 17 till yesterday. After that, another uh, three more people are admitted. One well, now it is one twenty, and there are some more people who want to uh, who want to join the next course. So they could not be uh, uh, attending this, but uh, definitely we will open the registrations for next course also. A step towards uh, what Swaminiji is advising us. We will collect the uh, we will release the uh, registration form for advanced level and also the basic level and then see how much uh, uh, how many people uh, can spare their time and come for that and now just another analysis i have done how many males and how many females it is as before only uh, that is 65 and 52 a uh, little bit of uh, mm, you know less because of, you know, they have, this is early morning probably, and a lot of ladies have a work uh, with their children. So that may be the reason for this. The location-wise, we have uh, people from Hyderabad, Bangalore, and Vishakhapatnam mainly, mainly Hyderabad and Bangalore, and then Vishakhapatnam. And uh, so we need to spread the awareness of this course uh, to other areas of the country and the world. So the, a few students are from Himachal Pradesh. Uh, I think they are in the crowd today. And JNK, uh, Vijayawada, Guntur, and interior of Godavari district. And one or two students from Delhi, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, and Kolkata. So so we need to take out take uh, the awareness of this course uh, that what we what is the syllabus what we are doing 
to other parts of the country uh, and also the world. And there are six students from USA, UK, Australia, Dubai. Most of the students are on move abroad. Actually, uh, one person I've asked, okay, you are a citizen of uh, uh, America. Why did you give uh, the address of Bangalore? So he said that he is visiting India every six months. So he gave the address of India. So that's how I, I could not get uh, the exact number of people who have uh, been staying outside and attending this course. And most of the people are on the move, going uh, abroad and coming back. And this being the virtual uh, online course, you can attend this course from where you are. You don't have to worry that, okay, I'm going for a pilgrimage, I'm going to some, you know, visit some uh, friend somewhere, or I'm traveling. So there is no, uh, where there is a will, there is a way. And there is internet everywhere. If you want, definitely you can attend. And this has is been proved in the last four courses. The people who go to even pick up their children in the morning, they attend in their car while driving also. That's what the surprise I got. And also the many people, uh, they have uh, now got comfortable with their mobiles and also the meeting, how they uh, are going to attend this. So no problem that way. It is a international course. Now I have done a little more analysis on uh, the people's background. This is uh, from private sector. Mainly there are about uh, twenty-four people, uh, like you know, corporate, uh, IT, and etc. And banking, and then serving and retired both, and then self-employed is another uh, good uh, category. I have seen now those who are uh, doing their self-employment. They are nineteen. Earlier it was not so much. And then teachers is another in uh, uh, these are these are the people uh, no, who should be in greater number so because they are going to uh, educate other uh, uh, in fact all of us are going to do that but especially the teachers are going to do in a big way so we need to increase this number Grihin is 16 again is a good number earlier it was not so much public sector employees uh, 15, government employees 14, and we have one uh, uh, retired uh, uh, senior officer from Indian Army, uh, Iyengar, he is 82 years old. He is the first one to register for this course. The uh, 601 is his number, and I'm not sure whether he is in part of this uh, crowd today. Uh, now, students are another, you know, very young people. The youngest is 19 years old. 19 years old girl is uh, also a student of this course. And uh, remaining are, uh, uh, are around 20, 25. Now, you can see, so, okay, besides this, we have educates, architects, and medical doctors. And these uh, tr these professions are also part of uh, the above, like private sector and self-employed or teacher or Gruhini uh, or you know, public sector. Now, if you see the age bracket, less than 30 years, they are 12. It is less number as even before. 31 to 50, 54 people, which is a little increased. And 51 to 60 years is 20 people. And above 60 is 31 people. Is a, is a good combination of uh, young, young, youngsters, middle-aged people, and uh, the uh, retired people. Okay, now coming back to academics, we have uh, a luminary of uh, speakers from various uh, um, fields, and they are experts on the topics they are going to speak. Uh, Ravi Prakash uh, Arya, he runs his own uh, courses on Sanatana Dharma and he travels quite a bit. I will introduce him when he comes for introduction tomorrow. Uh, in fact, all these uh, speakers, I, we will speak more about them at their profile when they are going to deliver the first lecture of their series. 
and then uh, Pro Chris Professor Krishna Murari Tripathi ji. He deals, he will teach you Vedas, Vedangas, and Dharma Shastras. He is the professor of uh, Banaras Hindu University. And uh, CSR Prabhugar, we all know him. I just introduced him also. He is the ex DG of uh, NIC and uh, chairman of uh, Vishwa Yoga Vidya Pete. And he is the main force behind this course. And it is his dream to start and uh, it materialized and it is now going on at full speed. And he's going to take, um, in fact, major part of the uh, course, like introduction to Sanatana Dharma. Now he's going to do it after this. Um, Upanishads, Darshanas, Vimana Shastra. It, mainly this course concentrates on science and technology in Sanatana Dharma. Uh, so the main emphasis is that. Uh, that is the main uh, target. And uh, Bhagavad Gita research topics and yoga and this syllabus is already distributed to all of you and you have all gone through if not please go through that syllabus again and uh, pb sundari ji she will talk about panchangam vishalakshi garu is another main force is our vice president sanatana dharma of uh, veda samskriti samiti and she is the associate director of this course and she will teach you Bhagavad Gita, Sanatana Dharma, Shodas, Samaskaras and uh, the basics of uh, what to do and uh, what are the sadhacharams which we should follow. So, uh, not learning uh, Sanatana Dharma and sadhacharas are not sufficient. It is not a This course is not a pravachanam or a harikada. This is a learning and practice. So, okay, learning is one part. Practice is another part. So, Acharana is most important. And she is the authority in uh, clearing your doubts wherever we have. And Rajgaru Puranas, Kishorgaru Ayurveda. And another uh, another uh, very important topic that is Vedha, uh, Vedic Mathematics, uh, Gautam Mukherjee ji. And one point is that all these people have been teaching this course regularly. So this is the fourth time they are going to teach uh, for this course. Of course, they have been teaching this topic elsewhere also. And Karnam Nagaraja Rao Garu, Tradition Values and Sanatana Dharma in Mahabharata, very interesting topic. And Ananda Padmanabha Rao Garu, he is an anchor for many uh, functions in uh, Padra Chalam and uh, similar places like TTD and all. He, uh, he will deal with Ramayana. And then uh, uh, Sarvana Kumar Garu, he will teach about basics of uh, Vastu Sastram. And then Brahma Dath uh, Arya and uh, Alraj Beck is the foreigner. They are doing uh, research on homam. What is the importance of homam? What is the effect of uh, the homam and our environment? They are going to teach us and cover their results. And you have we have another uh, 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 to uh, teachers, yeah. Actually, the third month of this course is we are we are going to concentrate on yoga entirely, and our yoga teacher is again none other than our uh, uh, academic director CSR Prabhu Garu, and there are two people to assist him: Bridge Bhushan Purohit Garu and Ravi Kumar Ravi Kumar Garu. And it, yoga is not just, you know, small exercises which you learn otherwise in other yoga classes. Here you we, you will know what is the theory behind, what is the philosophy behind, what, why you... And uh, next is uh, going forward. Uh, some guidelines uh, I want to give you while conducting this uh, course. The prospectus, syllabus, uh, and general guidelines are given to you. Please go through if you have already. Some people if, uh, have not uh, gone through. Please go through it uh, once again. The profiles of all the organizers and the syllabus the, we are going to cover. And the teachers who are going to teach, all these things are given there. And the training program with the dates, speakers, and teaching material, this will be distributed to you. And then the, there will be a question-answer session. If there is one and a half hour session, at least 
you know, 20 minutes to 30 minutes uh, duration will be interacting with you and uh, clearing your doubts. Okay, be uh, active and then uh, participate. You make uh, uh, note of your uh, questions and ask uh, at the end of the lecture. And during the lecture, if you want, you can raise your hand. And uh, if the speaker allows, you can speak. Okay. So, but don't disturb the, uh, um, the, the speaker while he is uh, uh, giving you some concepts. Uh, this, in any case, uh, uh, we will ensure that uh, we will mute all of you while he is speaking. So if you at all you want to have interaction with him, raise your hand. Online exams will be there, both theory and practical. The practical is yoga. It will be online. Uh, like, you know, we are participating the same way we participate there also. And then uh, theory subjects, all topics will have questions. It will be online exam, yeah, objective type. So please make your notes. Just don't hear, like what I said, is not a pravachanam or harikala. Your notes, your gains, you have to consolidate your gains, quantify your gains, and uh, ensure that this is conveyed to the next generation. Okay. And then on Saturday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, slot is for guest lectures. It will be announced in advance. Attendance is compulsory. So, uh, so uh, Lalita Garu, she will be noting down your attendance every day. And uh, we will uh, uh, publish the attendance uh, in the group every week, uh, uh, if possible. And uh, so rename yourself, like, you know, in the participants. So if you see, there are some people who have already renamed and put their PIN number before their name. So all of you do that. How to do this, if you have any problem, Chala Chiti Babu Garu will uh, teach you at, uh, at the end of this, at the end of this uh, uh, session. Or every day he will be interacting with you. And uh, also... Please mute your mics and videos while the lecture is going on. Uh, but uh, uh, during question answer session, you will be unmuted. Or you know, if there are too many people, then we will request you to raise your hand. So you should know how to raise your hand digitally because we can't, you know, on the screen can't see uh, raising your hand physically. So you should know if at all you have doubt, you can get in touch with uh, uh, Chiti Babu Garu. And also, you are all expected to see the session starts with uh, prayer, Vande uh, Mataram and prayer, and ends with prayer and Janaganamana. So, uh, while Janaganamana is going on, I request all of you, like I don't have to tell every Indian, every citizen, knows that when Janaganamana is heard, everybody stands up and sings Janaganamana along with others. So, there is no shyness in this. So, uh, I request all of you to stand and uh, sing Janaganamana along with the speaker. And also the prayer. So, I request when uh, the prayer is going on. This time, uh, I request now all of you to uh, open your videos. So, and then be presentable. And uh, chant Prarthana along with the speaker. While you are chanting, have the lyrics in front of you and ensure that you pronounce each uh, sound properly, okay? And ask somebody to also hear what you are chanting and chant loudly so that at least the people around 10 meters distance hear what you are chanting. This way, firstly, you learn yourself. Secondly, you, motiv you motivate your family members to chant uh, it's all by example. You, may, you can't order your you know, uh, sons, grandsons, uh, or your grandchildren to uh, follow Sanatana Dharma while you are sleeping in, on the bed and you know under the kambal. Okay? So you have to first get up in the early morning. Early morning means uh, uh, you know, that... Uh, uh, what do you call two hours before sunrise and then uh, do all your uh, uh, initial uh, uh, exercises 
take bath, wear good clothes, and then do puja and come for this course. Uh, so what I don't expect is that you uh, sleep on the bed under the kambal, open your uh, uh, meeting and then attend and hear and then uh, pass the time. No, not that way. Okay. So next is uh, uh, whom to contact. You, uh, I already told you the organizers I introduced to you. Our webinar planner and controller is Challa Chitibabgaru, who is always available with you on the screen. And then our course coordinator is Simati uh, Lakshmi uh, Lalita Krishnagaru. And then uh, I am always available to you. Uh, my name is Akhela Marendra Babu. And then our course academic director, any, any doubt on anything on this, you please get in touch with him. And also Vishala Shigaru is always available to you. And they are all part of the fourth batch of uh, BL1 CCST, which is the course group for all of us. And with this, I think I have taken a lot of time. With this, I thank all of you for uh, the patience. Uh, and uh, now going forward, I'll request uh, Vishal Akshigaru to deliver her uh, speech, please. <coughs> Om Vage Sadhya Sumanasaha Sarvarthana Mupakrame Yam Natva Kurta Kurtyasyu Tam Namami Gajana Nam Saradindu Samakare Parabrahmaswarupini Vasara Pitanilaye Saraswati Namos Tute Sarve Pyo Namo Namaha Sapaye Namaha I express my heartfelt gratitude and thanks to our president, uh, Sri Akela Hemakanta Prepakara Raugaru, and Sri Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Amarendra Akela Amarendra Babgaru, Dr. C.S.R. Prepugaru, uh, Kolha Teli, and then Swamini Sadvijananda Garu, and Lalitaji also. And I thank Paramatma, in fact, Samba Sadasiva for giving me such opportunity to be a member of this and also to be associated with our Veda Samskriti Samiti and this three months Sanatana Dharma course, which is uh, arranged and in fact, which is prepared by our uh, Prepakra Rao Garu and Dr. CSR Prepu Garu together and making all of us members of this and uh, giving a lot of uh, happiness to us because we are also able to express our feelings and give free win to our feelings and become part of spreading our Sanatana Dharma uh, to people, which is very essential. In fact, today is a very auspicious day. Uh, really, all of you are also very fortunate and because you could join such a wonderful course uh, this course is to know ourselves. By this course, uh, you will know what is to be known in life. Because we are born as human beings, we should know who we are, what is the main aim of our life, and how to achieve that. And we can achieve that through attending these courses, four levels course. This is the fourth batch of first level. Uh, Sanatana Dharma three month certificate course. When you uh, pass this, uh, that is when you complete this course, then you will enter into second level, then third level and fourth level also. Because this is the course which makes you know what you have to know. Yet Vijnanena Sarvamidam Vijnatam Syat says Upanishad. So being born in such, in, in a great noble country like Bharat Desha and uh, our Sanatana Dharma, having our uh, being born in our Sanatana Dharma, mm -hmm. it is our first duty to know what is meant by Sanatana Dharma, what it teaches, how it is formed, uh, what Sahitya it got, Vaidika Vangmaya and all. What is the greatness of this Dharma uh, by which our Desha could stand 
at Gurustana among the entire world and how to lead happy life here in this world and getting higher resins, uh, that is Divya Lokas. After, hereafter, we say that is leaving this body also, we can attain uh, the Divya Deva Lokas. And in fact, we can get liberation, Mukti Nisreyas, which our Sanatana Dharma teach, alone teaches, we can say. So all of you are going to learn in detail about this, all these points in this first level of uh, certificate course of Sanatana Dharma. And then gradually the standard increases and you will go into the depths of all the points which are being touched now in this course. In at the second level, third level and fourth level, a very wonderful course by uh, which after attending these four levels, you will become masters of our Sanatana Dharma, Vaidika Vangmaya, and you will become a perfect human being uh, that is, in fact, gaining divinity in you. So you will be able to teach all others, all our Bharatiyas about our Sanatana Dharma who do not know so much because though they are practicing, though all of us are practicing, actually many people do not know what is meant by Sanatana Dharma how it originated, what greatness we got, what a wonderful greatest language, Sanskrit Bhasha is ours, Vaidika Vedas are ours and also this knowledge you will get. So it is our duty to bring awareness among all human beings about this wonderful knowledge. And in fact, any knowledge, the knowledge uh, we can get and it gets uh, spread. We can spread it by Athiti, Botha, Acharana and Pracharana. Athiti means learning. First, we must learn perfectly. Then we have to teach the correct knowledge to others. Then we have to put it into practice in our life. And then Prachara. Pracharana is also very essential. We must propagate it. Because uh, so many people do not know, we must educate them. Several times we hear the saying, Esha Dharma Sanatana. What is that? Kruteshu Pritikartavyam Esha Dharma Sanatana. We say, whatever good anybody does to us, we must do in thousand times um, such a good to others. Kruteshu means those who have done any good to us. Pratikartavyam, we must do, we must in return give uh, in a manifold manner that good to others. That is the Esha Dharma Sanatana. Then Satyam Bruyat, Priyam Bruyat, Nabruyat, Satyam Apriyam. Priyam Cha Nanrutam Bruyat, Esha Dharma Sanatana. That is, we must always speak Satya, truth. Satyam Vada, Dharmam Chara, says the Upanishad. So, Satyam Bruyat, but Priyam Bruyat, we must always speak only Priya, which is pleasing to others. Because we have to speak truth, we should not uh, speak unpleasing words also. Because we have to talk pleasing words to others, we should not tell lies. Asatya, we should not speak. That is the Dharma, Esha Dharma Sanatana. Akrutyam Naiva Kartavyam. Prana Chyage Pi Samstite, Nacha Krutyam Parichyadhyaha, Esha Dharma Sanatanaha. That is Akrutyam Na Eva Kartavyam. What is not to be done should never be done, even if our life is prana is going away. That is, Veda speaks about Vikita Karmas and Nishitha Karmas. So, what we have to do, we should do. And Nacha Krutyam Parichyadhyaya. Parichyadhyaya means that which is to be abandoned. That should never be done. So this is our dharma. Thus, so many uh, suktas are there, so many slokas are there, which speak about such greatness of our Sanatana dharma. And Sanatana dharma alone considers the whole universe to be a Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam, one family. Mata cha Parvati Devi, Pita Devo Maheswaraha, Banthavaha Sivapaktascha, Swadeshu Bhuvanatrayam, 
we consider the entire universe to be one family and all members are our family members and also we consider that what exists in us exists in the whole universe and all exist in us so that is the essence of upanishads so we should know about our sanatana dharma lead our lives according to our dharmic way of life according to our sanatana dharma and our maharshis gave us four purusharthas that is the aims to be achieved uh, by this human life all human beings dharma artha kama and moksha they kept dharma and moksha at both the ends and kept artha and kama in between just as the waters of the river or ocean they never uh, transgress the bonds cheliyali katta we say thus every human being can achieve artha and kama through dharma to gain moksha that is the main purpose of our life so this entire knowledge of vaidika vangmaya sanatana dharma gives us how to lead a dharmic way of life to achieve moksha through achieving uh, artha and kama sartha is not only money artha means prayojana purpose the very purpose of getting this life and also kama means not only uh, worldly desires and enjoying that kama means uh, doing yajna yaga the kratus dharmika karma sdana uh, that is tyaga and all these are the kamanas in fact to be uh, possessed by all of us so uh, achieving these purusharthas can be possible by leading uh, a way of sanatana dharmika way of life so by that we can uh, gain uh, reach paramagamya mukti so gnana devatu kaivalyam they say so by study of these sanatana dharma course topics we will gain uh, the real knowledge by which we can get liberated so that is the main purpose i congratulate all of you for getting admitted into this course because you are all uh, chosen by paramatma to be an instruments to gain knowledge and to spread our sanatana dharma swasti i thank everyone and all i thank our veda samskruti samiti and vishva yoga vidyapeetha kendra for giving me this opportunity to uh, talk thank you swasti dhanyavadamulandi uh, shailesh garu thank you very much for your advice we will continue our learning as we time the goes on with you and uh, now uh, we are you know our schedule is uh, slightly behind another 15 minutes uh, after 8 o'clock i request all of you to stay back till janagana mana don't uh, log off now i request uh, uh, prabhu garu to give his message and also introduce sanatana dharma to all of us <coughs> om ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो वंश ऋषिभ्यो महद्भ्यो नमो गुरुभ्य वेल फ्रेंड्स आई एम एक्सट्रीमली एक्सटेटिक आई हैव नो वर्ड्स टू एक्सप्लेन माय हैप्पीनेस एंड एक्सटेसी ऑफ दिस इंटरेक्शन सेशन द इंट्रोडक्टरी session on this fourth level fourth batch of sanatan dharma because i have been dreaming to deliver such a course for many years i designed such a course but i could not locate an associating organization to enroll people and administer the classes and conduct the exams and so on until i met uh, online sri prabhakar rao garu who is like my own brother and namarendra babu garu who is also like my own brother and vishalakshi garu who is like my sister and swamini ji is our advisor and guide so we could materialize our dream of delivering such a course of 3 months and then again another 3 months of next level and so on on sanatan dharma it is the first time in the world that such a course was delivered it was an experiment to start with it was full of difficult 
situations of arranging the speakers and so on. Though I am teaching about 50% of this course or 60% remaining are various speakers of various subjects of specialization. So in mathematical induction, we have a concept that if something is true one time and second time and third time, then it could be always true nth time also. So in that way, we have been successful first time, second time, third time. Now the fourth time means it can be a full success all through correctness. So to give you a bird's eye view of what is Sanadana Dharma, I want to start with the historical perspective of say ancient global history. If you go back in time, like you go back to Mahabharata period, which are the other countries and what are the religions existing in those countries? Well, Mahabharata war, as you know, was a global war. It was participated by kings coming from various countries like Shalya, Bahlika. Bahlika was Bactria. He was the brother of Shantanu. And Kekaya was considered as Iran. And Madra was supposed to be Egypt. So the global cultural civilizational perspective, if you take, you have Egypt on one side and you have China on the other side. And Greece and Rome are much later. They came only in Greek language came in 1000 BC, whereas Mahavartha war was around 3000 200 BC or even earlier, we don't know exactly. So you will find that the whole globe was practicing Vedic Sanatana Dharma. This is a very important point to note. Because there are statements I have seen myself in the Upanishads which refer to the emperors of the Surya Vamsha, the ancestors of Rama, ruling the whole world from Ayodhya as the capital. And it cannot be lie. Dilipa, Harishchandra and others, the ancestors of Rama. Sapta, Dvipa, Vasundhara, seven continents. Of course, the human civilization was very small in terms of the population, though it was very advanced in terms of culture and knowledge traditions. So the various Dvipas and various nations and kingdoms which existed in all those countries have been described repeatedly in our Puranas and Ramayana also. Now, what happened after that? Well, in India, the first deviation or emergence of Buddhism and Jainism was supposed to be different from Hinduism. Otherwise, the whole world was Hindu, to so to say. The word Hindu is a modern word, but it is whole world was Vedic Sanatana Dharma. So the first so-called deviation or difference or emergence came in India. But it is a big mistake to think that they are different religions. If you look at the Jainism, the Jains claim that they have 24 Tirthankaras. Mahavira was the last. The first one was Rishabhadeva. Who is Rishabhadeva? Rishabhadeva is one of the 24 avatars of Vishnu described clearly in the Bhagavad Gita as a Muni yogi who was silent and who was in Samadhi and Paramahamsa and so on. And Buddha himself has been identified as one of the avatars of Vishnu. So actually they are not very different. So if you look at the other countries, the whole thing started in uh, Middle East, like uh, you have the Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, which have created havoc in the world by their political conversions and wars and invasions and mutual conflicts have originated in the Middle East. Both Christianity and Islam have originated from Judaism. 
a lot of people don't know the history of Judaism itself. So Judaism was also almost the same as Hinduism originally. And suddenly the Persian Empire who was following this Zoroastrianism. Again, Zoroastrianism is based on a text called Zendavast, which is the Pars Parsi's holy text, which is a carbon copy of Rigveda. There was a concept of single principle of God, Ekam Sat, Ahura Mazda, they call it. So he told the Jews to follow that principle instead of having multiple Devata Upasanas, like all Hindus, we still have that today. So they said, all right. So they have elevated one of their deities, Yahweh, into the only one God and started what is now called Judaism. And it became Yehovah in Christianity and Allah in uh, Islam. Is it really different, that principle of God? God cannot be different. You see, if you say, well, who is God? They define the power which is responsible for creation, sustenance, and dissolution. So God cannot be different for different, different people because the, the principle, uh, the, the entity which is responsible for creation, sustenance, and dissolution is such a infinite and universal entity that it cannot be having multiple versions. But they wrote in their scriptures as if it is different and added certain silly childish attributes like fighting, uh, wrestling matches and having children and creating babies and so on for such principle of supreme person, uh, Godhead. And by writing like that, they created a myth of being different. And they also created a lot of narratives of fictitious personalities. Recent research history has shown, historical research has shown, not by any Hindu, but by the historians of the West themselves, that all the biblical personalities are fictitious. They themselves are telling, I'm not telling this. And somebody recently said, even the descriptions given in uh, some other holy books, say about Mecca or about uh, the leading personalities of their religions, are also fictitious because Mecca is said to be having uh, rivers and uh, orchards and all that, which is not possible because it is a desert. There is no river there. So many such inconsistencies, contradictions exist for all the leading personalities of the Abrahamic religions, right? From Abraham up to the last. So this shows, if you keep aside the possible fictional characters, what is remaining? What is there of substance? You see, you will find the same principles of dharma are meant. Thou shall not kill, thou shall not steal, 90% of Quran is imported from Bible and Bible talks about the same principles. If you remove the uh, narrative of fictional and uh, political and war kind of situations. So, I have done a lot of study and research and I have written a book also jointly with the scholars of those religions which admit that the core essence of ethical values are the same, which is same as dharma of Sanatana Dharma, keeping aside the narratives. So there is no meaning in conversions or no meaning in wars, invasions, which are aimed at conversions, which have been happening for hundreds of years, thousands of years. Of course, when I told this to one top scholar, he said that may be true. Like for example, it is mentioned in the Quran that no masjid can be built on the existing property of any other nature, of any other religious structure or any other structure. But then they have done it. They have destroyed and they have built, they have done all that. So the people who have done all that have contradicted their own scriptural injunctions. And people who have written the scriptures 
they have copied from the previous scripture quite naturally and they have added their own narratives which are largely fictional and if not completely fictional so finally they have created this kind of a crisis in the world by violent activities of invasions and conversions which has resulted in the total alienation of the all countries in the world and even in the indian subcontinent we lost pakistan bangladesh and within indian present indian context also a large number of people are alienated from our true dharma esha dharma sanatana that's the word used repeatedly in the mahabharata and elsewhere this dharma the ethical system of values is never born and go to never die that is the word sanatan dharma means but unfortunately today we have top politicians who interpret the same word sanatan dharma to mean something totally different they interpret in terms of untouchability birth based caste discrimination and uh, oppression what not it is so shocking that they don't have a basic concept of what is dharma in the first place and what is sanatana or what is vedika or what is hindu or what they have no idea not only they in fact they they, they not only have no idea they have all wrong ideas they give false narratives false ideations false accusations false grievances and then they are being uh, in, in, you know instigated by the missionaries or by the anti hindu anti indian forces who want to break up india it's all political so it is a terrible situation as i agree with sri prabhakar rogaru when he said that we have been put into tremendous torturous situations for centuries and millennia and i agree with him that during the pitrupaksha we have to recall the sacrifices made by all the great souls who have surrendered the highest sacrifice that is their life in pro- for the protection of the dharma so therefore there was a necessity to understand what is sanatan dharma in the true sense in the shastra perspective not in the political pers- narration in the political narrative everything will be twisted and mutilated and modified and adapted and exploited without all that the shastrik approach the scientific approach now the most important point i want to make is the entire vedic sanatan dharma or hindu dharma or whatever name you give is scientific because it is shastra based what is scientific being scientific means there should be proof there sh- a shastra is an embodied knowledge that is body of knowledge which can be proven that is whatever you say now for example there is a, a very uh, important statement you can you can speak anything but if it has no truth in it mataku pranam satyam if your words यदि आपके बात में कोई सच्चाई नहीं है तो आपका बात झूठा है तो द सच्चाई इज नथिंग बट प्रूफ सो वॉट एवर इज सेट इन वॉट एवर कॉन्टेक्स्ट वॉट एवर टॉपिक देयर हैज टू बी प्रूफ वैलिडेशन सो दैट इज पॉसिबल ओनली इन आवर वैदिक सनातन धर्म और हिंदू नॉट इन द एब्राहमिक रिलीजन्स in fact the word faith is being used in all the abrahamic religions they say they are faiths the word faith itself means what that it is not scientific it is not logical it is not having any proof you simply have faith you have a faith that this happened that happened this person came that person came this god came that god that all these things are just faith i oppose that kind of approach and when we take a scientific approach with proof whatever comes out of your mouth whatever is written in the written form in a sanskrit text or any other 
Sanatan Dharma source should be provable as valid and real and correct. So once you take that approach, you are standing in a such a high pedestal that all the so-called abhorrent religions will just vanish because they have no such basis. So the reason why I have been insisting on the scientific orientation or the dimensionality of scientific nature of this Sanatana Dharma course is that once you have the provable knowledge, valid knowledge, that is pramana. What is pramana? Provable knowledge of different types of proofs, Pratyakshanva, Nagama and so on. So once you are able to create knowledge or disseminate knowledge or acquire knowledge, what is knowledge management? Knowledge management is internalization of knowledge, externalization of knowledge and socialization of knowledge. That is called knowledge management. I wrote a book on it out of 16 books which I wrote. So if we can, what the whole of education process is nothing but knowledge management. So internalization of knowledge, externalization of knowledge, and socialization. <laughs> so this is, if this process of this knowledge management is based on pramana, that is provable knowledge, then we are safe and nobody can question us. So all of us have to imbibe that kind of knowledge, which is the Shastra. The word Shastra itself means provable knowledge. It has pramana in it. All our systems of knowledge are based on pramana. Even our Vedanta Darshana, which is the highest, uh, most difficult and abstract subject, Brahmavidya, is based on proof. Is it not surprising and shocking? Pleasant surprise that everything in our culture is based on proof. It is a scientific culture. Hindu way of life is a scientific way of life. Any practices you take, like washing feet onwards or uh, performing all the karma kanda. My good friend Prabhakar Rogar is very insistent on teaching karma kanda. What are all these karma kandas? They are all scientific processes. We have evidence, we have arranged speakers who will show the evidence that the basic of the 16 Aviryaga Zakni. Agnihotra or Homa is a scientific mechanism to maintain environmental balance and purify them. And so also other karma cards. So the yoga system. It's a great science. It is a science of sciences. Because all sciences are based on your human mind. And what is the yoga shastra? It is the shastra of the human mind itself. So it is a science of sciences. And yoga shastra is a process of Acquiring experiential knowledge, not just hearing. Okay, somebody told something, not just that, but you experience it. So there is a transformatory experience. So when many people who have attended our courses have declared that it has transformed their lives. I have taught yoga to about one lakh people till now all over the globe for the last 60 years. And my gurus have taught to 15 lakh, 20 lakhs people. I have prostrate to all my gurus, remembering them today. We will cover deeply the Yoga Shastra. So in this course, we are going to give you a quick survey of the scientific content right from the Vedas and Darshanas and then Upanishads and Bhagavad Gita and the Viman Shastra and Panini, Svyakarana, Artificial Intelligence, then Vedic Mathematics and Yoga. In addition to the glimpses of scientific content in the Mahabharata, Ramayana, or the Shodas Samskaras, which are scientific procedures of purification of an animalistic human being into a divine human being, transformation from Manishi to Manishi. How all these things are possible and how they are happening. So once anybody, even I have many, many uh, participants, friends from Christian, Muslim, Parsi communities, they have also understood, once they understood this, they give a clean shit, they, they just accept. In fact, it is possible to bring back Gharvapasi 
of those people who have lost their way into the other so-called faiths. Once they understand this, even if they attend this course or even if they come to know part of this course, they will understand that it is all scientific. Therefore, you come back. And those who are already in it will not go out. So I can give you a guarantee that those who have attended these courses will never be converted into other religions. And on the contrary, they may help in bringing back those who are already converted. This conversion is the greatest fraud that has taken place. It's illegal and unconstitutional and not only immoral and unspiritual, it is even demonic sometimes. It is a conspiracy based. So once they understand, they'll come back and those who understand will never go out. And apart from the scientific aspect, there is a spiritual aspect. What is the word spiritual means? Adhyatmika. That means to reach your self and realize what is the self, the self-realization. So we all know that we exist, we are the selves, but to go deeper into the depths, deep depths of the nature of yourself, to reach the realization of yourself as not different, but is one and the same as the universal self. From Jiva to Shiva. From Brahma to Brahma. The Brahma of Jivatva to Brahmatmaikta Samsthiti. You finding your oneness with Brahman. So that is the transformation of path of yoga. Whether it is Bhakti Yoga, whether it is Karma Yoga, whether it is Raja Yoga, whether it is Jnana Yoga. It is the same thing that happens finally. Though they are apparently different paths. As Swami Vivekananda put, you can follow each one of them, only one of them, or combination of two or three or four of them. Finally, you will reach the enlightened state. So this is the spirit of... Yeah, Jainism, as I told just now, the founder of Jainism, Rishabhadeva, is one of the avatars of Vishnu mentioned in the Bhagavad Purana. Recently also I came to know that and it is being told openly in various lectures in the Bhagavad Purana and through TTD also. So it is all due to confusion and due to lack of correct understanding and due to brainwashing. Like, you know, now they say, Sikhs say that they are different, they want different country, Khalistan and all that nonsense. What is Sikh? The word Sikh is distortion of the word Sishya. And the first son of all Punjabi families were recruited by Guru Govind Singh to create an army for what purpose? To protect Hinduism from conversion to Islam. So now they say they are not Hindus. Does it make any sense? All kinds of fake narratives are being floated to give, even say Lingayats say they are not Hindus. What rubbish is this? They are worshipping Shiva and they say they are not Hindus. So th th this is all fake narrative saying that Sanatana Dharma is oppression, cash system, untouchability, all that. It is no way such narratives can sustain the test of proof or validation. So the objective of this course is to bring correct knowledge, valid knowledge, pramanika jnana about Sanatana Dharma right from A, that is Vedas, up to Z, that is Yoga. I mean, there's no limit, but we have put a limit here. So everything we are trying to cover to give you a spectrum of insights into each one of these areas with a scientific perspective. I wish you all the best. I'm, I have no words to express my happiness. To see all of you joining this course, I know you are yourself very knowledgeable. You are not ordinary school students. You already know things. And some of our previous batches uh, had produced some students who became teachers, who started becoming teachers in this course. In fact, many batches have been formed. Now three batches we have finished, first level and second level also we have finished. Many of the participants became speakers, not only in the weekend uh, guest speaker sessions, but even in this course itself, some of them have become speakers.
No, no. Buddha is mentioned in the Bhagavad Purana as one of the avatars. Well, there is a controversy whether it is the same Buddha or another Buddha. If there are two Buddhas, then the question arises. But to my knowledge, there was only one Buddha and the same Buddha was mentioned as... In fact, even Adi Shankaracharya has referred to Buddha as Bhagavan. I have myself seen this in my own eyes. Bhagavan Ityaha. He said this. Bhagavan said this. So he had the highest regard for Buddhism. Though he demolished the theories promoted by post-Buddha scholars of all kinds of weird theories of Shunyavada and so on with the help of Mayavada and the Advaita Siddhanta. So, Adi Shankaracharya defeated. Please note, no more discussion is required for all this. Because Adi Shankaracharya, our Guru, has defeated in the arguments directly with all these 72 different schools of philosophy which prevailed at his time, including Buddha, Jaina, Charvaka, Lokayata and so on. He defeated them and therefore he was declared as Jagat Guru because he established Advaita Siddhanta as the Supreme, which was finally accepted by one and all at his point of time. So, with this perspective, of course, you can ask me a lot of questions as the course goes through. We have, we'll have 20-30% uh, uh, of the time of every session for interactive question answering session. And we have seen I think there's a problem with the video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. You can go on. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, in fact, uh, in this course, a lot of uh, people have. To... Some uh, internet connection problem there. Probably if he logs in again, we will give him some time to speak. Uh, now we have finished with uh, the uh, the inaugural session with the. Karnasi, one minute. Can I talk to all? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Lalita ji. Yeah. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, to all our uh, fourth batch. Uh, students of the Sanatan Dharma course. On behalf of Ved Samsil Samsi and Vishwa Yoga Vidya, please, we welcome you all. I think that, uh, I, as uh, Karnaji said, I'll be uh, looking after the daily attendance. So in this connection, just now I was taking the attendance. I find many people have not put their PIN numbers along with their names. Uh, please, uh, yeah, please uh, ensure that you will put your PIN First, your PIN number, give a space, and then your name. I have given the message also. I have posted the message in the chat box and also in our group, in uh, the uh, August uh, and the L4 batch group. Uh, please, L1 uh, fourth batch group, uh, kindly ensure that you put your PIN number because the daily attendance is mandatory and weekly the uh, attendance will be analyzed and Colonel G will make a presentation. And this is a uh, must and should that you all have to have uh, compulsory attendance because you are in a divine course. So that's what I wanted to tell you all. Any more difficulty, you can contact uh, CC Babugaru or myself. We are always available to give you clarification regarding the attack. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Lalita Ji. Thank you for the advice. And, uh... and also the prayers, I'll just make another announcement. Uh, okay. Colonel okay yeah and uh, also uh, as uh, as you all are aware in our uh, in the zoom in our uh, message you know whatsapp uh, box the present uh, the audios and the prayers of uh, daily prayers has been posted by our uh, course administrative director see here we bought uh, in the coming days each one has to must and should from day one they should learn the prayers because that's all part of Vedas, Upanishads, and what all we are learning here. And also, you know, we should be able to sing. Each one of us should be able to sing every day that we have been following for the for the past batches also. So just so you all, I think many of you have sent your recordings also. And we have some people to train you all. Today, the 
um, Ms. Sugandhi, who has uh, sung, uh, recited the prayers, will also teach you one to one. And there are others also, Dr. Sharda Garu is there, and so many others are there, seniors, who will be able to teach you also. Kindly, whoever is interested to recite the prayer on a daily basis, just approach me or give your name, and definitely we'll prepare a roaster on such and such day, so and so person will be reciting the prayer. And uh, that's it. I just want you, you all to get participating in the starting prayer and the ending prayer. There are two kinds of prayers. And also our national anthem and the national song. So you all can get tuned to it. And I, mean, I think many of you are aware of it also. Just take this opportunity to really serve the course uh, as a being a prayer uh, by reciting the prayer song to make it more divine. Thank you all once again. I, I expect you all to respond. Fast. Thank you. Thank you, Lalita ji. Definitely, uh, we are going to guide you how to chant prarthana without mistakes. Once you are ready with that, uh, then uh, we will give you a chance to do prarthana like uh, what Sogandhi has done today. And also one prarthana in the beginning, another one in the end. Now, CSF Prabhu Garu has come back. And uh, I will request him to continue. Yeah, I have almost uh, come finished. Uh, so I think I have covered uh, the main uh, message which I wanted to give today. I think time is also up. So let us uh... Okay. Uh, can we continue now? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the inaugural session is over. Now, we will uh, chant Prarthana and Janaganamana. When we uh, when we recite Janaganamana, I request all of you to open up your videos, stand and sing Janaganamana along with the speaker. Even for the Prarthana also, uh, please all of you open up your videos and have the lyrics in front of you and then chant along with the speaker. So now I request uh, Sogandhi ji. Uh, firstly, I request all of you to open up the videos. Okay. So all of you, please uh, uh, have your lyrics ready. And then ch uh, chant as and when Sogandhi ji chants. So, Sogandhi ji, please chant Prarthana. Swasti Prajabhyav Paripalayantam Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahishah O Brahmani Bhya Shubhamastanityam Loka Samastha Sukhino Pavantu Kale Varshatu Parjanyaha Prithvi Sasya Shalini, Desho Yam Chopa Rahita, Brahmana Santu Nirbhaya, Aputra Putrana Santu, Putrana Santu Pautranaha, Adana Sadana Santu Jeevan to Sharadam Shadam, Satyam Vada, Dharmam Chara, Swadhyayanma Pramadaha, Sarve Bhavantu Sukinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadra Nipashyantu, Makasha dukhabhag bhavet. Om pur namadav pur namidam pur nat pur namodachate. Pur nasya pur namadaya pur nameva vasishate. Om shanti shanti shanti. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. Harihi om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. Harihi om Swasti. Okay. Uh, now I request all of you. Um, now, thank you, uh, Sagan Piji. Dhanyavad Guruji. Yeah. Now I request all of you to stand up and uh, Allah Chitti Prabhu Garu, yeah, uh, please uh, recite Janakan Mana. 
जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जलधित रंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाथा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय 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 हे जय हे जय श्री राम जय श्री राम धन्यवाद मिलें चला चिट्ठी बाबू गुजरात